Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing all things Christmas. Christmas. Cooking, baking, decorating, Christmas PJs. I mean, we are doing it all, so stay tuned. I will link everything in the video in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started. Ready, Sybil? All right, the first thing we're gonna do is make hot chocolate. Okay, so here's our Christmas pajamas. It's hot. We are all matching. Okay, Vera's got them too. Truett and Daddy. What do I have in the crock pot? What's it called? What are you even wanting to make all day long? Hot chocolate. So we've got some hot chocolate going. Okay, so the details on the pajamas. These are from Amazon. I'm gonna link them down below. I have bought this brand on Amazon for like the past three years. I am working with them in today's video, so I'm super excited. We have had the reindeer ones before, and I think the bear ones, and now we have the truck, the Christmas truck, and they say Merry Christmas. So I'm actually wearing large because I'm pregnant. My kids all have them and my husband's wearing an extra large. So they are true to size. Um, they're super soft and they're super cute. Okay guys, so here are the pajamas that are close up. The brand is right here. I pronounce it iffy. They are one of the top sellers on Amazon for Christmas pajamas pretty much every single year. They've got some really good options and prints on their Amazon page. And I already have washed and dried these and I just wanted to show you all that they do not shrink. So I have a three and four year old for my daughter Sybil and a four and five year old for my daughter Vera. I have washed, dried them and nothing has shrunk. They are true to size and they are super soft. They're made of polyester. Okay, so here is the Amazon storefront for the company and their pajamas. As you can see, there are lots of pretty options to choose from for your family, depending on what you are wanting. They are made of polyester and spandex. They do not shrink and you can buy them for every single person in your family. Okay guys, so for this recipe, it's actually new, but it turned out really easy. So all you're gonna do is cook two cups of chicken and shred it. You're gonna combine it with a can of cream of chicken, bacon bits, cheese, a ranch packet, and then some hash browns and mix it all together. I even added some sour cream and a little bit of cream cheese and you mix it and then you throw it in the oven around 375 and you let it cook until the hash browns are all the way done and top it with cheese and bacon and it is called crack chicken casserole so it turned out really simple i will put it in the description box for you okay this was the first time ever making crack chicken casserole and it looks amazing super easy um i will put what i did down below we're just gonna eat it with broccoli Thank you. 
looks pretty yummy. I love this tree. It's from Big Lots. Remember when we bought it? We bought this was like our first tree and I remember it was like expensive for us and it was $80. It still looks expensive. I know, but just remember like that's re that was really expensive for us when we first started out. Uh -huh. Drew, get that ornament that's on it and bring it inside. This? Mm-hmm. The plug is by Truett. So this is technically an in, I mean, I think it can be an in or Wait, outdoor. Go in, like you're getting in the dirt. Yeah, I think it is yours. No, it's not. Yeah? I don't know. Anyways, I really like this tree. It could be an outdoor tree. That's why I have it outdoors, but we used it for an indoor tree. I'm pretty sure it was an outdoor tree. But we don't really put ornaments on it. I put it out here last year because I thought it was pretty. All right, so like I said, this is from uh, Big Lots. And my mat, I think, is from Hobby Lobby or Lowe's. Hey. I'm gonna put lights over this, too. Hi! Don't wake up from your nap. Mommy, when did you wake up? When did I wake up? I know. This is gonna be the issue that was Lou. Hey. Lou. At least we can see this cat, Lulu's too camouflage. Might as well not even put ornaments in there. Hey. Hey.
This was the cookie plate that we used at my parents um, every year for Christmas, so my mom gave it to me. Um, I'll probably put it on the table, but it's super cute. All right, so I do have two trees. This is the one I keep by the fireplace and I typically keep it like red, like a traditional kind of like red tree. My husband just found this in our attic. Good job. Isn't it cute? And yeah, the other owners left it, so. Okay, we are pretty much done. I'm not doing like everything I probably normally would. I'm just really tired, um, probably from being pregnant. So I'm gonna show you how it turned out. All right, so this tree, the kids helped um, us do. So it's mainly just like golds, silvers, browns, and some red, and then like some ornaments, um, random ornaments. Um, this tree, I will link it. I think it's from Lowe's. And then that part is from Hobby Lobby. All right, this tree is from Walmart. Hobby Lobby, the ornaments are from Walmart, and that thing's from Hobby Lobby. All of this, um, Hobby Lobby, I know that one's from Target, and then these are just like random odds and ends that I've accumulated over the years that I really like. All right, so my kids do have a little tree in their room, so this is Truett's. They're just from Target. And then my daughter has her tree here. <laughs> she definitely, did a ton of ornaments here looks good vera okay guys it's been a couple of days since we decorated for christmas and i got a few things at tj maxx and i just wanted to share a easy and simple way to decorate like your table on a budget i don't usually keep these year round like any type of placement just because the kids but for the holidays i like to have something on my table these were the cutest they had tons of stuff at tj maxx so a pack of four was 15 dollars. so for 30 dollars, we're gonna do placemats everywhere i have these two little trees that i did not know what to do with so i think i'm gonna put them on the table i have a cute little candle that i'm gonna put two and then the other thing I got from TJ Maxx are these adorable, um, what's the brand, Ray Dunn 
Christmas little jars and I'm gonna put candy in them whenever I get candy. <laughs> Okay, super cute and simple. Pretty proud of all of our decorating and Christmas activities. Didn't take too much, but it does make me feel really happy to have holiday stuff out for Christmas. So I'm gonna end the video here. Make sure to check out the link for the Christmas pajamas if you want a good deal on some for your family. It's not necessary, obviously, but it is something fun that you can do. Um, for your family for Christmas if you want. Uh, take a picture, Christmas picture, whatever you want with it. Um, but I'm gonna link those down below. Like I said, I've used them for years and the car ones are very cute. So I will see y'all in my next video. I'm going to be sharing with you the new way that I have been meal planning and grocery shopping that's been helping my family save a lot of money. So stay tuned for that. I will see y'all next video. Bye everybody.